<clears throat> Good evening, everyone. It is Tuesday, February 12th, 2019. Good evening. I'm Dave Garrett. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. This is Let's Have a Chat. Okay, so today is Tuesday and the calendar or the schedule says it's in the news. That's what we're talking about, stuff in the news. So let's talk about what's in the news. And right now, the big thing that's in the news is this looming potential government shutdown again. We just finished one and now it's possible, but it's also possible it's not going to happen. So it's kind of going both ways. And, but I'm not going to talk about the politics. I'm going to talk about leadership. When this last government shutdown happened, there was a great time for everyone on all sides to step up and be leaders and take charge and say never again. And we're not going to do this. No, they were just kind of regrouping, setting themselves up to do it again. And what kind of leadership is that? What kind of nonsense is that where they're going to go ahead and hold everyone? So it's kind of like at the top. It's kind of like a top in any organization that holds its employees hostage because they can, they want to, and nobody wants to be wrong. And that, that in itself is wrong. So leaders, this is that moment when they should step up and say, okay, never again, it's not going to happen. We're not going to allow this to happen ever again. And what happens? Well, now, like I said, they're getting ready for it to happen again. So where are those leaders? Sure, there was a couple of weeks there where the, some, some people kind of started stepping up, but they got fell under somebody's thumb because they weren't the right ones. They weren't the ones people wanted. They weren't the ones that the current management wants as leaders and sometimes well they just do it to themselves so what i'm getting at it doesn't matter what management wants it's what leaders need it's the leaders that that you need not the leaders they want and so when somebody's needed they need to step up and they need to be one focused with purpose with intent with vision with just laser focus I can't get any more than that. They have to also be afraid not to, they also have to be not, they also have to not be afraid to step up. They also have to not be afraid to be criticized. They also have to learn how to roll with the punches. And there is where the problem is, is a lot of the new leaders are, are in this mindset of either they like me or they hate me. There's no in between. And if they criticize me, that means they hate me. If they talk nice about me and they build me up, but they love me. No, that's not what a leader is. A leader has to have both sides. It has to have people that like them. It has to have people that despise them. And leaders can't accept that fact and they don't have no business being leaders. And, and that's what happens. So here I'm talking, let's just say you're, you're not, nobody here is watching live. You're watching this and, and, and that's fine. But I'm still standing up here. I'm still saying the words. This words are still going out over the internet, they're still going out there. And then those of you that watch later on, you're hearing them later, but the words still mean the same. It's when those people say, oh, well, you know what? No one's listening to me. I better just, that's where the problem is because everybody would rather just walk away because those that have been in power, those that have managed their way to the top are putting people down. No, they're leaving themselves down. They are putting them, they are putting themselves down. No one's leaving them down there. No one's got them under their thumb. That's the impression that they want to give others. And therein lies the problem is that people are afraid to step up. People are afraid to say, you know what? No, the problem is you. The problem is you. The problem is both sides, red and blue, black and white, brown, red, yellow, purple, whatever. That's the problem is that no one wants to step up and accept responsibility. Nobody wants to say, you know what? As a leader, as your elected official, as the person you look up to because you put me here, it's my fault that this government shut down. But no, they'd rather put the blame on everybody else because you know what? It's all, it takes more than one person to tango. And in this case, two sides to tango. The executive branch and the legislative branch to tango. And in life, in leadership, in being up there, being the man, the man, to being the person, the top dog, top of the heap, king of the hill, if you're not prepared for that criticism, you have absolutely, absolutely no business even thinking that you belong at the top of the hill. You have absolutely no business thinking 
that what you say is gospel, that what you say should be respected? No, because if you can't respect the negativity, if you can't be, if you can't respect the questioning, if you can't respect giving people an honest, truthful answer, you deserve no part of being a leader. And folks, that's what being a leader is about. It's not just being authentic and genuine. It's about also taking the punches because they're going to come at you and they're going to come at you hard and fast. And so now here's the time. Who's going to step up and say, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take care of business. I am going to solve this problem or I'm going to do my part solving this problem or I'm going to die trying. But go down fighting. Don't just go down because, oh, also go down because you know what you stand for. Know what you're saying. Know, be informed, be knowledgeable. Have a little experience under your belt. Serving drinks is not the experience you need. Stepping up, that's the experience you need. And uh, getting knocked down, that's the bigger, that's better experience right there. That way you get back up again. Folks, my name is David Guerra. This is In the News. This is Let's Have a Chat. It's Tuesday. Have a great evening. I'll talk to you tomorrow.